Hey bits and bites, it's time for another Patreon Q&A thing. So these first set of questions come from Woofy. He asks, any holiday traditions, new ones you're making or pre-existing? Besides the normal Christmas stuff, not really. But the first uh, year we were here in Portland, we went down to the city center to see like this big tree. And they lit it up and it was like not worth it. We're glad that we went, like in hindsight, like it was a thing that we did once, but no, we're not doing that. And, and I'm fine with things being the same as far as, you know, traditions, uh, Christmas traditions and all that goes. I'm not a big fan of adding things onto it. You'll, you'll have to pardon me, I'm like so tired right now. I don't know why. You'd think three hours of sleep would be in... <laughs> Halloween. Tenorio introduced Lily to something called the Switch Witch. And the Switch Witch is this thing where like, you get your candy, or I guess on Halloween you get your candy. The, before you go to bed, you leave some candy out on your doorstep. And then this Switch Witch comes around with her big old bucket and a cat. And takes the candy to feed her cat with. That cat's not gonna live very long, but th the point, the important fact here is, is that she then gives you a present. On Halloween. Uh, I thought Elf on the Shelf was a really sad attempt at trying to start a new tradition. I get it! You wanna make a new thing, you wanna add on to it. It's been a long time, you know, we wanna add on to our culture, I get that. But... It's hard. Like, I, you know, there haven't been any new, like, holiday hits. The birthday songs have been the same song forever. People try, and people are like, no, don't do it. Because I think that it, we need some of those old things, you know? I, I didn't like Elf on the Shelf. I really didn't like Switch Witch. I'm not trying to be a grump or anything. It's just, I feel like Halloween is already enough. There's a crap ton of candy. And then you gotta add more commercialism into it. You gotta add present. No, presents. Now, any holiday treats you crave around this time? Um, growing up, our tradition was just to make sugar cookies with icing, you know, just like simple different colors, make, just put it on there, throw on some sprinkles, and then eat them all. Oh man, it's so good. I have to resist this year a little more because, as I mentioned in one of our Super Mario Maker videos, which I don't remember which one it was, Eric, do you know? Yeah, in the fall, when fall started, Tenorio suddenly started making like a million billion types of like sweet treat of delicious things. And we both gained like so much weight, so I spent all of my Christmas treat rations in fall. I gotta get back, I, I can't lose too much of my figure. Any games or movies, etc. that you're looking forward to in the coming months? Uh, Fallout 4? I know, in internet years it's been out for like decades, but you know. Tenorio and I were, are waiting. We're waiting for Christmas. We're usually really bad about it. I'm embarrassed to admit that for the last like five years, well, since we've been together like six, however years, like the end of November happens and I'm like, I have one bad day and I'm like, Tenorio, I had a really crap day. Can I open the thing we're supposed to save till Christmas? And she's like, no. And I'm like, but me. And then she's like, okay. And I'm like, me. And then I feel horrible because then it like takes away the specialness of Christmas. I know. It's sacrilege. But don't act like your shoes are clean. You know, I bet we could find some stuff on your shoes. But this year we're doing it, okay? And as for why we're getting it on a console... I didn't say that we're getting it on PS4. We're getting a PS4 this year, finally. Finally, there are enough games on the PS4 to where I kind of feel like maybe getting one. Well, it's already happened. You know, we're, we're waiting anyway. But I would have gotten it on PC because it's just better on the PC. Look, it looks better anyway. But my computer's always being used for work, and uh, it's just convenient to have a console. Like last night, I was sitting on the couch with Tenorio, and I'm just like tired because you know I had a full day. I've just finished this like super secret project that I've been working a side project on top of the stuff I normally do. So I was like, I just finished doing like the eighth 12-hour work day in a row, and I was just tired. And I wanted to play Downwell, which I just got, and I'm going to do a let's play of soon. And I'm sitting on the couch, and I'm like, Tenorio, I need to get up, get the stool over here, put the laptop on the stool, get the USB wireless dongle in there, get a controller, sync it to the dongle, load up the Steam Big Picture mode, and then play, d you know, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. That's the reason consoles will still survive and still are doing quite well. It's why PC is gaining market, but it doesn't have... You know, it doesn't have the sole monopoly of it, because it's just that tiny bit of convenience. Judge me all you like, but I'm a demographic, dang it. These next set of questions come from Lavelane. He asks, did you get that thing I sent you? I actually tried to go to my P.O. box today and check it, 
but when I pulled in, I almost got in a wreck because all the parking spots were taken up and there were like three people, four people like backed up so far out to where when you try to turn into the friggin' place, you can't, you just stuck there in the road right off the friggin', uh, I try. I'll try tomorrow, I'm sorry. Do you commonly find yourself in the company of Japanese streakers? He's referring to the blog post on the comic. What was the comic called? Sealed Paint? No. Unfortunately. Well, it's rather a neutral feeling, really. I, it's cold as hell right now is why I'm wearing this. I'm not like, you know, being a mob boss or something. Have you thought about doing some form of Minecraft challenge map, a la Skyblock, Regrowth, etc., in addition to your current Minecraft series? I think as much as people really like Minecraft, and I'm really glad that you guys like this current season that's going on, so far the viewership and the like rate has been pretty consistent. Um, I think that I don't think the channel would really do well with uh, with too much more. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, if I did have more space on the channel, if I did have more space, the first thing I would add is more Splatoon. Or, you know, I, I would bring that back if I had more time to do those things. I just don't, unfortunately. So that's all the questions! This is a question I usually like to answer, at least one, from the previous Q&A video. Uh, this one comes from Dungeon Number Zero. He asks, you ever think about playing any RPG Maker style games off one shot Undertale, even though it's not RPG Maker, Space Funeral, etc.? Um, yes, I actually have one shot installed, and I've been meaning to find just a two hour chunk to just sit down and knock it out. Undertale, definitely. V uh, vast question just gifted me the Undertale the other day, and I've been playing through it doing a pacifist run. The game's a lot more complicated than it looks at first, because I looked it up, and to do a true pacifist run, you have to have already beaten the game once. For some reason. Or this is like a weird trick you can do, and then I just kind of zoned out and clicked out, because I don't want spoilers or anything. So I want to do that. And then I'm gonna come back and let's play a genocide run. Which is, I hear is gonna be, I'm, I'm pretty far into the game already. I'm at the, and I'm playing the, right now my pacifist run is all on my own. I'm at the Hotlands? And already I can see it will be very difficult to do the genocide run, so you know. But I said I'm gonna do it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it still. But that, that's all that, uh, as far as RPG Maker style games go. I have a lot in my Steam library, just from like, uh, humble bundles and all that stuff, but I don't want to play to the moon. I Don't want to play Cthulhu saves the world well, the first one because I feel like I'm gonna be sad in the second one because I Guess I'm just spoiled by modern games and just my patience for just straight-up turn-based games is kind of lingering At least I think that's what Cthulhu saves the world was anyway. That's all the questions for now. Sorry. I I'm really tired Hopefully we had some fun anyway if you want to ask these questions and get answers and stuff. I mean, the videos always go up on the channel for everyone to watch, but if you want to ask questions, you can go to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash kakujamics. And you can help keep me doing my thing, which I really appreciate. Even if you don't, thanks for watching my videos. That's also immensely helpful. So yeah, I guess I won't see you again until the very end of December. It'll be a New Year's day. All the questions will be, did you get another Shirley Temple? And I'll be like, did I not? Just do that for like 10 minutes. Huh? Daddy, go pick up Mama. Lily tells me it's time to go pick up Mama. So, yeah, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching! Bye!